Grace. What's your name? I'm Grace. Grace. All right, Grace. You feeling pretty brave? Yes. Okay, perfect. Because, you know, I did mention the talents and the beak and that whole deal. Yeah. Right. So you probably need some equipment. Luckily for you, Grace, I'm actually going to give you my glove. And it's going to go on your left hand. Okay, we go. Okay, we're going to scooch that on there, pull it on there nice and tight. Perfect. Cover it up as much as that delicate flesh as you can. What you're going to do is make a fist and hold it straight out just like that. Perfect. Nice, tight fist. There you go. Yeah, put your thumb on top. So I'm going to kind of make a little table. All right, you got it. Now, I am going to give you a little bit of this bird's favorite food right here on your glove. That way, he's going to land on your glove and not on your head. Theoretically, it's usually what he does. All right, you've got the glove, you've got the food. Oh, but you know what? I just remembered that is my glove, so I don't have one. So to be totally honest with you, I'm not feeling terribly brave standing out here without one. So you just hang right there, hold that nice and sturdy. I'm actually going to back way over here behind this tree where I feel a little safer. Yep. All right, you should be good. Just keep that glove up because we are about to meet my very fast friend, Phoenix. Hold on. Make sure everybody is in their seats because like the Jays, this bird will be zipping right over your head. All right. I know. Pausing for dramatic effect. I hope you're ready now because here it comes. <laughs> awesome. You're going to keep that glove up. You're going to do a whole bunch of flights down here to you. Phoenix is our Aplombado Stacket. So you can find these birds in Central America, South America, and on the very southern edges of Texas. I'm just going to have you lower that just a little bit. I'm not quite that tall. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, a bird like Phoenix likes to hunt what we call fast food. I'm, of course, not talking about McDonald's. So we usually like to ask you think he's pretty cute. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty cute. But we like to say you wouldn't think he was too cute if you were a pigeon. And that's because they do hunt that fast food. So he's perfectly adapted to that. He's got those nice pointed wings, the envy of any fighter pilot out there, that helps give him that maneuverability and agility he needs to catch those prey items. Now, speaking of that maneuverability and agility, Phoenix here has just about flown over all of the bleachers. And I have noticed just a few of you ducking, which is perfectly fine. Go ahead. But just know that Phoenix knows that if you do duck, he can fly that much lower. We're trying to keep that nice and sturdy just like that. There you go. Now, we don't have Alpha Model Falcons here in Utah, but we do have a slightly larger cousin, the Peregrine Falcon. They're about double Phoenix's size. Now, when they have, they are the fastest animals on the planet. They get into a hunting side called a stoop, going after another bird. And in that stoop, they will reach top speeds of 240 miles per hour. That's about one third the speed of sound. Pretty incredible. Now another thing that helps Phoenix catch his prey items, one thing he's all adapted to, is you notice those beautiful little kind of dark marks under his eyes? He's going to use those exactly like a football or baseball player would. So that eye block, so it's going to help keep the glare out of his eyes. But this can be his last flight down here to Grace. That adorable fellow is Phoenix, our Alpha Motto Falcon, and a huge round of applause for Grace. I will take your gloves. 